You never think it could happen until it happens to you. This is a story of a husband, wife, and son. A true story. The husband is a very successful businessman, very wealthy. He puts in long hours on the job, but both his wife and young son suffer from loneliness. Every night they sit at the dinner table and they cry together because they miss him. And he misses birthdays and anniversaries. Now the father is already very successful, but still doesn't have time for his wife and son. Even when he's at home, he's not truly home. He's thinking about his business meetings, his clients. He's on the phone texting and making calls. One day, the wife finally gets fed up and she goes to her husband and says, Honey, we are very lonely here. We miss you. Please come back to us. And the husband very lovingly says, Darling, for the time being, no one can replace me as director. They need me. Just, just hold on a few more years and when I find a new director, I will have more time for you and our son, I promise. Six months later, the husband was driving on the same road he took home every night. He lost control of his vehicle and died. His company replaced him and found a new director in just two days. Isn't it sad that we spend so much time on the things that are urgent that we have none left for those things that are important? Please do not get me wrong. Striving for a better life and wealth for yourself and your family is great. Look, I don't think you can get too much money. But if money gets you, that's too much. If money becomes your God, if you make a million dollars but lose your health in the process, is that success? If you make it to the top of the corporate ladder but lose your friends and family in the process, is that success? I ask you, are you taking for granted the moments with the real people who are close to you by focusing on a future moment that doesn't even exist? I urge you to focus on what's real and now because this life is short and as they say there has never been a deathbed regret that said boy I wish I spent more time in the office